Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Konadra here. Welcome back to the Minecraft server for the 102nd time today. We are moving right along here with the Cones Garage build. Didn't get a lot of progress done last episode, but I think we did some important things, and I've actually done a little bit off-camera here. After discovering that there basically is no good source of sea lanterns here on the server, and really I don't love the look of sea lanterns anyway, not my favorite block design, uh, and we don't have the new lantern lanterns yet, I decided to go for the redstone lamps up here, and that has spurred me to start working on the quote-unquote electrical design of Cone's Garage overall. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for lighting up here, as well as down here in the main garage area. I'm okay with torches. Like, I don't... I'm not... Some people in Minecraft are, are just completely anti-torch. <laughs> they want no torches in their build. They want to hide the lighting as much as possible. I... I am not necessarily that way, but just these torches scattered around the floor is pretty ugly, so I would rather not have that, personally. I would like to have some actual hidden lighting and, or just, just more decorative lighting. The other things I want to work on, let's actually make a staircase today, and uh, yeah, let's start, I guess, decorating, which is soon. I, I didn't really think we were quite to that point, but as I was looking around today, we kind of are. Structurally, this build is complete, so so here we are. So the first thing I want to do is try and figure out some kind of lighting back here, and what I was noticing is this is the last block you can walk under, so all the space under here is kind of just extra space, and I was thinking maybe we could hide some lamps back here. Powering them, of course, is an issue. I kind of, well, simply powered these with just uh, levers on the sides. It's an easy way of doing it. And I could probably do the same here on the sides, depending on what that looks like. The question, oops. The question is, do I, do I like the way that looks, or do I want to do some blocks in front of the levers, or levers? <laughs> I much prefer levers to levers. Hmm. It certainly hides it more. Certainly hides it more. And, and looks a little less haphazard that way. I just don't know what... I, I don't want to do them here. I want to do them again in the middle. So let me, let me put these in. I don't have any remaining sticks. I think I have some sticks down here. Let me grab some. Good, uh, good discussion spurred on from yesterday's, or not yesterday, the last episode's topic. In general, I think people picked up on what I was, I was putting down there. Kind of a... A spicy topic maybe maybe a little bit more controversial a topic than our norm around here uh, but it is something that I certainly Ooh, I, didn't, I didn't realize that that would be there okay let's not worry about that yet um, certainly something that I, I do think about pretty often you know I, it's something I put a lot of thought into and something that I I want to I don't want to say improve that, but it's just something. Whoops, lovers. Uh, it's something that I hope we can figure out how to do better with. the The side of that conversation that I didn't really cover is I kind of I I dropped the phrase PR, and when I did that, I didn't really go too much into PR, and that is its own important topic. It's its own thing that's uh, really dominating part of our, you know, interaction with society is that 
we interact so much now with PR people instead of humans. And I think because of that, and somebody brought this up in the comments, because of that, we're, we're kind of forgetting what it's like to just interact with, with humans. And in that, I think that also brings up a little bit of this hostility where when we interact with humans, you know, directly rather than indirectly, let me grab some more. Oh wait, do I have some in here? Yeah, plenty, plenty of screws left from the prank build. Um, you know, when we interact with people, personalities, quote unquote celebrities, one on one, rather than through the filter of a PR person, it's a different experience. You know, it's a different vibe for sure, but you just, you get something very different from it. You get more, you know, raw feelings and, and unpolished feelings that, uh, oh, that fits there. Looks a little silly sunken in though. Uh, that isn't, probably as <laughs> that was the only way i could think of to get those back uh that isn't probably as refined and it and it might it might not be as well thought out i know i say things all the time that after i've already said them i'm like ah oh, that's not really what i meant but now that i i i see somebody's reaction to it i totally understand how you could see that, like how you could interpret what I said as that. That happens all the time, and that does happen all the time with the people that I was I was referring to uh, last episode. So that is a different side of things. I'm not gonna say PR itself is a is a is a bad thing. It is a bad source, or uh, it's just something to be concerned about. It's just another one of those things that I think has dramatically shifted in our day-to-day -day lives that maybe we just didn't quite see happening. The, the changeover from interaction person to person versus interaction person to person representing a person is so common now that uh, uh, it's, it's almost, I think, probably the more common interaction style versus person to person. I want something in in these. I like I like the way this is turning out, but I feel like this little pocket right here is 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 asking for something to live there. I'm not sure what that something is yet. That's actually kind of neat. That's actually kind of a neat little design there. Yeah. So to the other side of that, and to, I guess, defend the the use of, of PR, I think there's, there's a lot more people getting thrusted into the spotlight anymore. And in that, my brain's working in the background and I just had a brilliant idea. I need to see if it works. Um, in that, there is people that just weren't ready for that. They they weren't prepared. Cool. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, nice. So we get like free light down here. Nice. Okay, so I need some more glowstone. Let's let's, let's make a trip to Brian's Witch Farm and see if we can find some. But yeah, there's people that just weren't weren't prepared or weren't expecting to be a public figure. And sometimes people, you know, are able to handle that on their own. Sometimes people think they are and aren't. Not. Sometimes people just refuse help. And yeah, sometimes people just can't handle it at all, and it's just a disaster. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of some examples, and kind of a weird example, but it's just the first thing that came to my mind. The Example is Mighty Carmods versus Roadkill. The way that those two very similar types of media, very similar 
shows and kind of similar personalities, they handle things very differently. The roadkill guys, well, even the two of them handle things very differently, but there's a lot more filter between us and them versus Marty and Moog of Mighty Car Mods are very hands-on with that kind of stuff. You know, they they want to be involved with the details. They want to be involved with handling basically their own PR. And yeah, it, it shows, you know, it just shows in the way their content's presented and it, and it shows in the way that you you interact with them. It's different, but I'm not going to go out and say one is better than the other. I think like uh, David of, or uh, Freiburger of Roadkill, not quite as comfortable with the social media side of things and the one-on-one -on -one personal interactions or, uh, you know, handling necessarily his own social media side of things. He wants a little bit more of that, that hands-off approach and a little bit more of that, that PR filter between him and the audience. Finnegan, I think, is a little bit more comfortable with it, but maybe not as dedicated to it. Uh, you know, he just he would he just wants to build cars. You know, he wants to build race cars, and he wants to share his experiences, and is is okay with being you know, one on one with people, but again, not really his own PR person. Not really, not really in charge of his brand so much, and. They're both valid strategies, I think. There's there's people that are more into being in control of that kind of stuff. I don't think necessarily that it's it's bad to be either way. The only bad thing is when you don't realize the importance of figuring out which style you like. Uh, I think I have, at this point, figured out which style I like. I I like having control of my brand, <laughs> which is really... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just going to take a stack of this. That'll, that'll set me for, for ages, actually. Is there some redstone? Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah, that that's, that's where I am comfortable. I am comfortable being the one that interacts with the community, the one that is my own PR agent, and that's the way I think I will probably remain. Uh, whether or not that's ever a actual thing for me or not, yet to be determined. So, yeah, that's that's where I'm comfortable. But then, okay, this this is just the biggest herd of of squid. This is the biggest squish of squid I've ever seen, and I and I must murder them for their for their ink oh you know why they're here so much because this is a this is a uh, no mob zone probably and squids are pretty much the only mob that can spawn in here so they do there's gonna be so much ink out of this plus i'm using my looting sword sorry salmon oh i think i missed the salmon actually how much ink do you think we got out of this? A stack? Is that all of them? Let's get all the sacks. 45! That's a nice little haul. Oh, and there's, there's a ton more over here! Look at that. I'm, I'm really just saving them from embarrassment as they were going to suffocate themselves. Cool. That's a, that's a nice little handy haul. I like... I like black glass and I'm using squid ink all the time, so... Nice. Nice. Well, now I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, well. I was probably just rambling at this point anyway. Who knows? I do that all the time where I get into conversations and I go in circles. Oh, this is the... This is the river connecting to the... the um, It's the Brion connection. The Bri Brion cone action. I don't know what we were calling it. The, the Brunnel. Sure. I don't know. 
I wasn't sure what would happen there. If if that had spawned a chicken underwater, would it have drowned? <laughs> would it spawn at all underwater? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Anyway, anyway, just wanted to kind of tie up some loose ends there. That's certainly something that I think is in development. It's something we're we're still learning how to handle, how to deal with. Uh, I don't know if uh, if we will yet figure that out. If it's going to be something that happens in my lifetime or ever. I don't know. But it's something very much so still being worked on in, in society. Boy, we're going to run out of fish if the fish farm doesn't get used some. I guess I should probably be AFKing in here. I think that's still a thing. I think that's still a thing. I should probably be doing that just to restock the fish. Because I do like not having to fight for food in Minecraft. <laughs> As a builder, having to constantly fight for food is a nuisance. It just gets in my way. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if that was if that was really it for that topic or not. I guess so. I don't know if I really, really covered it too well. I gotta be honest, my my brain's been awash lately. Just some a, a, a group of differing things happened kind of all at once there, and it's just absolutely destroyed my brain's ability to to concentrate, I think. And, uh, yeah, that, that happens. That happened to me so much in college. Like, that used to happen all the time. It was always... I don't remember it ever being a huge problem in, in like, high school, but probably because high school is just so... so less stressful than college. Are you inside? You are. Get set on fire. Obviously... We need a lot of light in here. But yeah, I never really had issues with with concentrating or focusing or getting distracted by stuff. Uh, you know, real life occurrences. Is it gonna be right here? Yeah, it is. Uh, in in high school, but in college, the there was you know quite often real world things happening that would weigh on my mind enough that I couldn't any longer concentrate on what I needed to be doing, which was, you know, schoolwork and stuff. And I think that's one of those things they just frankly do not prepare you enough for. And when I say they, I mean, obviously, like your your grade school, your high school, school teachers and whatnot. Is there going to be any way to power these? Only from the front, I think. I think that's the only way I could really power those. Which is kind of ugly. I don't know how else to do that. Hmm. But I would like those to be there. Look at that. Look how distracted I am already. <laughs> uh, let's see. I was hoping that I could do something back here, but no. Because it's half slabs. Hmm. Hmm. And then from underneath, you can't. You can't really do that because it's stuck in half slabs. So really, the only way to power those would be from the front, or to put redstone up to them, which would look kind of silly. I think, I think that's kind of the only option I have for those right now. The only other thing I could do would be to completely cover them. Which would be dumb because then we don't get any light from them inside. I have to think on that one. I have to think on that one. Because I want to do the same thing here as well. Oh, this is actually a three gap, so it would only be a, a single. Well, that makes it easier, I think, because then we can do the torch thing on the sides, and then 
these here. Yeah, that's easy enough. And that works from the bottom. You'll be able to see the You'll be able to see the lever from this side, but that's so rare that you would ever see that. Okay, so that's cool. I like that. What was I talking about? <laughs> Not being able to concentrate. Right. Right. Yeah, that that's something that has kind of developed later in life for me. That's that's a problem I've run into later in life. Uh, when when life starts to get more serious and you actually deal with real problems, not fake problems like you deal with when you're a kid. Like all the problems you think you deal with as a kid are are so terribly insignificant compared to the problems you'll deal with, you know, in adulthood <laughs> that uh, uh, it's quite a shock. It is quite a shock. And I know, you know, freshman college professors are a special breed because they have to deal with that. They have to deal with with kids that are just totally unprepared for the real world and the the ramifications of the real world any easier at all now probably not uh so yeah they they get these bright-eyed 18 year olds 19 year olds that think everything's gonna be fine and then yeah they just they just can't handle having to do the hardest school learning that they will ever have to do on top of, you know, dealing with actual financial responsibility, uh, relationship, relationship, learning how to speak, and then relationship stuff, uh, you know, all of the other plagues of the world that hit you around 18 to, you know, 24 or 26, if you're me, uh, for college. And it's a lot. And I don't know how to better prepare people. I guess it's just kind of one of those things that college is, is, is for. I don't really like, I'm not a big fan of that model of college is to, to you know, prepare you for the real world. I'm not sure that I'm a big fan of that mentality because you're you're combining two very stressful things into one you're combining now college is for learning you know really important things for your trade or for your you know your future as well as how to you know how to be an adult at the same time that it's so much <laughs> it's so much that uh for me anyway it just distracted me and uh kept me from ever feeling like I was focused on on learning anything valuable, like any real world skills in the college setting. What a tangent this has become. I love it. It's great. It's fantastic. And I didn't have it the worst. Don't don't let me fool you. Many people have had worse college situations than I did. My parents helped me out immensely. Like, their their efforts to try and and put me through school. Well, put me through school is probably saying too much. Uh, but they put in a lot of effort to try and and make sure that I could focus and that I could, you know, deal with it and and do the learning and whatnot. But even that is pressure. Now you feel the pressure of of you know your your parents putting in all of this all of this work and you don't want to let them down you know you don't want to you don't want to disappoint them oh man now it's even more pressure on yourself yeah it's it's a weird time it's certainly a very weird time and i don't know that i ever until very late not till my i would say the last like three or four years that i was going to school did I ever actually get decent at handling that stuff? And obviously I'm not fantastic at it now, but I can push through it. Very easily today I could have just not done any recordings. I could have done nothing. Because I just woke up feeling like just very defeated and and like I didn't I didn't have a lot of a lot of motivation. I was just Tangent on a tangent, I was just listening to um, Alice in Chains' um, 
Oh, what is that series called? What is that series called? It was an MTV series. Hmm. Where everybody did the acoustic concerts. Uh, Nirvana did one. Alice in Chains did one. What was it called? I gotta look this up right now. I gotta figure this out. Alice in Chains. It was... Unplugged. It was Unplugged. Uh, Alice in Chains' performance on that was, is, is one of my favorites. Sorry. Total distraction right now. Total distraction. But one of my favorite lines is is Lane Stanley saying, what is my motivation here? <laughs> oh, I love that line. Um, anyway, anyway, where did this come from? Oh, I was just saying that I, I just kind of was was not feeling super motivated and that I wasn't feeling... I was feeling feeling defeated, wasn't feeling like I, you know, sometimes you just you just feel that way, like like you just uh, are, are searching for purpose. This was dumb. Now there's no light coming from this. What if I do it this way? Do we still get light from that then? Somewhat. Do we see the levers? Hmm. Somewhat. I really wish there was a better way to power these. But yeah, I guess if I'm if I'm really hunting for anything that I am maybe a little better at now than I was then, you know, in my in my college days, I'm a little bit better about motivating myself and and working through the the pressure, working through the stress. That's something that that just didn't didn't come to me so much until until much later and maybe too late for for the college me but i guess the the end topic there is and the, the point is i really think the current college system beyond all the other topics i've talked about about how i don't think it's very healthy for you know uh, the current job market and they push too many people to college in general beyond all of that I don't know that it's a very conductive environment for learning. They're they're trying to be too much. They're trying to make that too much for maybe just me to handle, but I feel like a lot of people kind of end up feeling that way. Um, and maybe that's because high school does such a poor job of preparing you, or at least in my area it did. Uh, or maybe, maybe that's just I'm working on complete redesign right now. Uh, maybe that's just my own interpretation of. I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that question is. Okay, that's better. That is better. Hmm. Don't like that I can see those. I don't think I want to cover the top of those. And if I did this, we're going to lose a lot of walking space here. It does cover the levers or levers up well. It just eats a lot of space in here, doesn't it? I don't really want to eat a lot of space up. Then how do I cover these? Hmm. Hmm. On top would probably be better. Because if they were on top, then the area we would be losing is actually going to be the same. Because we need to go this high to cover it, and then it needs to be this big around it to cover it. Oops. So yeah, it's not like I gain any any space in this. I didn't even turn them on. Uh, the only thing I gain in that is that we get light from underneath of it, and I don't have to see the top of them. That's the that's the only net gain with this design. There's not even currently a way up. <laughs> oh no. So that's not great. That's not a great solution. 
I will figure this out. I will. I believe in me. I can do this. Just like I can... I can I can work through stress and and uh, bad feelings. I can work through this bizarre <laughs> design here. Hmm. Now there is redstone torches as well. You can power these with redstone torches, but it basically takes up the same amount of space. There's not really any any key difference between. Wait, does that not work? I thought that worked. Does it have to be on top? What in tarnation? Does it not work because there's four of them? Okay, so strike that. Okay, okay. Alright. So that is the key problem is seeing that from the side then so if i did this that actually solves basically all of the problems the only the only drawback is that becomes a walking surface that is literally the only drawback of that design do i care that it's a walking surface not really and if i wanted to actually solve that i would just do this and have this be the way up. And I already have a desk design for that, so that doesn't really matter that this is the walkway up. I think the main drawback then is we lose we lose a little bit of uh, the glass space. So we lose a little bit of that ability to peek down into there, which was cool. And this saves me a little space here and keeps that from being a step at all. This has to be too high. I just gotta decide if I, if I like this or not. I could also do this so that you would walk up this way. And there's no head clearance issues there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And then you could also do this to really, yeah. That's good. That's a good design. There we go. I've done it. I've done it. Nice. All right. See? See? Little victories. That's all you need. That's all you need. Now I gotta try and replicate that over there. But that's cool. I like that a lot. I... I didn't anticipate working out the lighting problem down here as well as we have. Now there still will be more light needed than, than what we have, but... I made a pretty good effort, I think. All right. This was random and rambly. I think that's an episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.